One, two, one, two, one, two. This is Coombe Cassis for Rifle TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. We're at the O2 Arena here. I'm joined by Chevron Clark. Pro debut win. Impressive. Give me the mic, man. Mic check, one, two. Why don't you just interview, why don't you just interview <laughs> yourself? That's what I'm going to do. Go on, interview <laughs> yourself. Go on. Yo, so, yeah. Kugan, what did you think of so Chevron? my voice to interview oh, you. Uh, Chevron Clark here, coming live from the O2. Um, IFL TV. Proudly sponsored by I don't know. But Everlast, it's on the oh, mic. Oh, sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry. Proudly sponsored by Everlast. <laughs> Kugan, what was your take on Chevron's performance? Average. Oh, wow, wow. That was deep. Eddie. <laughs> well, we would like to welcome super, promo super promoter Eddie Hearn. Eddie, what was your thoughts on Chevron Clark's performance? Fucking banging. Basically, what, oh, man, let me finish. What you got to do is when you enter this professional journey, you've got to make a statement. You've got to make everybody who bought a ticket, who was tuned in on DAZN, say, I want to see that young man again. And all the response across social media, all the response from people in the arena is, when is Chev back out? So for a young fighter, they've got to understand, you produce a performance like that, you become a lot more active. Because already I'm texting the guys saying, when can we get Chev out? I know we were due sort of end of April, May, but that's too long to wait. We need to get him out again. This is the start of the journey for a very, 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 very skillful, very talented young man that I believe can become world cruiserweight champion. Tonight, that was the beginning of a fantastic journey. Damn, you're not you paying for the varies, are you? Can you pass on my respect to Chev as well, please? Thank I'll you. let him know still. You. Back to you. Back to the studio. <laughs> Chev, uh, very Sorry. impressive pro debut for you. I was joking about the average thing. <laughs> it was like a six out of ten. No, it's six I'll out of ten that. average. No, I'll take that. Hold on, Caitlin, Caitlin. I don't think it's six out of ten average for a guy. That is average. You, you wouldn't date a guy at six out of ten, would you? Five out of ten. Wow. Nine is average. Oh, you said six, bro. No, six. I'll give you seven for that performance. I'll take that. Because that, me, that means I can improve. And I mean, if you ever gave me a ten, I'd be disappointed. Because that means you can't... Seven. Like this attitude. Seven is seven. Yeah, that means I can improve. I'm always after levelling up. you give him a six out of ten? Yeah. For the performance? Well, it's up to you. I'd give him more than a six. It's his day. Man, man you, you're going to get sacked at this rate, fam. You're interviewing... No one can sack me, by the way. Oh! oh. <laughs> Oh, by the way, by the way. Bars. Actually, it's not technically true that, but anyway, it's a different <laughs> conversation. Um, pro debut out of the way, anticipation, all that kind of just the energy towards the pro debut is done now. You can kind of concentrate on actually your boxing now. I was just concentrating on my boxing, to be honest. Um, all the media and all of that, um, it's all good, but boxing pays the bills, skills pay the bills, you know what I mean? That's what I've been focusing on. Was it important for you to put that kind of statement out tonight from the off? It was important for me to win. And um, I won, and um, my opponent is safe, as I said, and I'm safe, so it's a good night. So, as uh, Eddie Hearn there, your promoter, was saying that there's calls for you to win your next out, but that's the kind of response you want from a performance like that. <coughs> um, yeah, it, to be honest, yeah, I suppose so, yeah. I don't know what to say, man. No, this camera. Get used to it. You got, you got to find things to say. Talk to this man over here. Come over here, Mr. Oh. Mr. Churchill with boxing. Mr. Sam Mullins, AKA. Look at me AKA, wait, wait, wait. Go AKA, on. I'm large. Oh wait, wait. AKA, I'm large. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> AKA, I wear large, large but top, oh. small bottoms. Who gets a yeah, geezer this size? Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. He goes, oh, size. I've got to roll up the like, bottoms. I've got extra large legs for you. That's not science, is it? No, you're, you're. I can't even talk to you. Ah! <laughs> 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 yeah, I take this. Man. I was impressed that you were holding that with one hand, with gloves on. To be fair. Skills, bro. I used to be in a, I used to be in a, in a, in a studio, you know, dropping bars. Go on, drop. Mic check one, two, one, two. That's what I got for you. Same background as Eddie Earn, by the way, as well. Yeah. Say no more. The stock massive. Ask him about stock massive. Who's stock massive, bro. Is that chicken stock? It's the, it's the village I live in. Oh, right. The village. Like, he's trying to take the piss. Oh, the village I live in. That sounds like some... I ain't even going to say that. That sounds like you're from America in some, like, hillbilly town, like, way back. So. Oh, wow. Hey, let me get off the mic. Whoa. Let me go and get all right. Hold on, hold on. I'm not all about you. Have what you been... Be... Oh, right. best promoter in the world. Yeah. All right. That's the most good Winner purse bid, come back to me. Whoa. Right. Oh! Sam is calling me. I've got to go. Listen, right. thank you guys. Date, date. Next date. 
Whenever Eddie says, that's the man over there. You see them two guys over there, the, the large short guy and the, the large tall guy? Chef, well done. Can't do your Thank thing. Thank you very much. All Appreciate right? you guys. Go on, man. Bye.